Warm welcome to the future, Creating Future Leaders Hangout. Apologies for a little bit of the delay. We're about uh, five or six minutes late. Um, but um, as uh, all in for so many of these things, uh, little technical um, hiccups happened last minute, as, didn't they, Sonia? Oh, Sonia, your, your, your microphone is muted. <laughs> oh, there I am. Yes, um, but technical issues happen even with the, the leaders, so we're in good company. That's it. In, in fact, our, our guest speaker is making shuffles to come in at the moment, which is why the, um, um, the, the, the screen keeps uh, flicking over to him. <laughs> and here he is. Um, guys, let me just, by way of a word of introduction, um, the speaker that we have on tonight is a man of uh, tremendous value. Uh, he's a man of, um, that Sonny and myself were very privileged um, to meet early on in the year. Um, I was uh, originally talking with him about a certain method he's using to drive insane amounts of traffic um, all completely for free and um, and he was you know kind enough to to share a couple of strategies uh, with us so that we could pass on to you uh, in our team as you know um, everything that we do is aimed towards um, getting you towards your your goals faster and any little nuggets that we can pick up um, of course we're going to be the first ones um, uh, to pass on to you so just by way of introduction in case it's your first time on the hangout this is the Sonia and Declan hangout um, and we do these every Sunday night at 10 o'clock uh, UK time uh, it might be a bit the afternoon for you guys over there in the States um, but um, uh, you're going to get some great great value out of this um, over to you Sonia Actually, Dak, I was just thinking, uh, because our, our Hangout's called Cre Creating Future Leaders, and I was just sort of thinking about what that means to us and what that might mean to, uh, to you people that are actually sort of watching us and listening in today. And I think the important thing about uh, any business is that it's, you, you have to set yourself up as a leader and and that's quite a big step for a lot of people and I know that since joining this business one of the things that I have had to do is step outside of my comfort zone uh, as an employee it's it's very easy to to get very comfortable and you know you have a CEO or director and you follow you know so that's the kind of mindset that you're in but when you sort of branch out on your own and you do a business such as this suddenly you find yourself in a situation where actually uh, things are down to you and leadership really starts with leading yourself uh, and then of course leading others and I, I guess that's apt really for so getting started because uh, getting started the right way you have to sort of step out of your comfort zone most probably I, I know that for me when I started I had to make a decision and I had to make a decision uh, that meant doing something a bit differently uh, possibly am I taking a risk and that may be a question for some of you as well I don't know whether that's similar to to you Dec. Yeah oh, absolutely you know um, there's um, I think it was Einstein or I can't remember who it was that um, you're, you're undoubtedly going to recognize the quote um, if you um, use the same thinking um, that has got you here to try and get you out of a situation you're doomed to failure from the start so the very fact that um, you've actually chosen to do something different um, the, sub the, the, the instructions that you're receiving might be taking you out of your comfort zone um, that's a good thing mm -hmm. That's a positive thing because if you're constantly staying within your comfort zone, you're not really challenging yourself mm -hmm. and you're not really pushing yourself to different levels. So using the same thinking that got you here is not going to be the same thinking that propels you out. Um, and so the, the importance of getting started right is following the basic steps. It's amazing um, how many people don't actually go along this. They think they can just. It's a bit like um, it reminds me of a, 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 an example of, uh, of many people when they get an electronic gadget. Um, uh, we're of an age where um, 
uh, these things used to come loaded down with uh, um, instruction booklets, which were quite basic for the time, but nobody ever bothered to read them. They'd just get the thing in there, they'd try and figure it out by themselves. It doesn't work for a business, guys. Um, in this business in particular, you've got step-by-step -step instructions which work. Um, and, uh, and you find so often that people fall at the very first hurdle because they haven't followed the, um, the, the level up sequence, they haven't followed the getting start videos. These are all there just to try and make your journey smoother. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's, um, you know, the uh, very much, as Sonia was saying, you have to get out of your comfort zone. And one person that knows really well about getting out of his comfort zone is our guest speaker tonight, which I'm going to introduce uh, without further ado. Um, a guy from a third world country uh, has made it, not only made it onto the leaderboards, but he's a regular feature on there. And he's going to uh, share us a couple of nuggets uh, tonight. His name's Dave Reinecke. Hey, thanks, Declan, for that. Thank you, Sonia. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, it's a privilege being on this hangout with you guys. I really appreciate the invite. Um, you know, you were talking about risks, and uh, I wanted to kind of... I don't know if anybody here watches a show called Criminal Minds. Uh, there's a show that comes on uh, weekly called Criminal Minds, and they were doing this show. It was surrounded by a prison, and there was kind of like a problem going on there and then right at the end of each show there's kind of like a quote that they they talk about and I can't remember the quote exactly but it had something to do with in prison you have uh, in prison you've got uh, you know you've got food you've got shelter you've got a bed you've got medical you've got all of that stuff in prison but once you get out and you have your freedom uh, that stuff you've pretty much got to figure out on your own and you've got to take some sort of some sort of risk if you want to get out of prison and have freedom. And it's kind of like with your typical job that you have, a nine to five job when you're working, and it's almost like being inside of a prison because you're confined to a nine hour, nine hour job, you get told when to have lunch, you get told what to do, um, everything is given to you free, and uh, basically somebody just tells you how to run your life. And if you want to make any sort of improvement on yourself, you need to take some sort of risk and say, you know what, I want to determine my future. I want to make uh, the decisions. I'm actually worth a lot more than this, so I'm going to go out and start my own business. Now, whether you're doing it offline or, or online, the truth is that you've got to take some sort of risk in your life, and that's something that I had to learn fairly late um, into when I started working online. So a couple of things that I had to get over when I started out was, that I had to realize that this was my business, all right? So I, I was stuck in the mentality of of somebody providing me with the tools, Tim all right? Tom. So if you worked in sales, so, yeah, somebody gave you the tools, somebody gave you a vehicle, somebody gave you all of the, of the actual uh, necessary equipment, and then all you had to do was go ahead and do your job, and that job was just follow the instructions as they laid out for you. When you get into a business, you suddenly have to take a mind shift. There's a, a switch that has to be flipped when you realize, hey, wait a minute. Um, I can't just expect everything for free. I can't just all right, get into a business and say, all right, so now give me everything I need to, to do. And they say to you, right, here's your training. So you say to yourself, okay, I'm going to do the job the job, and that's going through the training. So you watch everything, and still nothing happens. And it's because you have this mindset of being an employee. You say, well, I've done my job for the day, pat myself on the back, and I've been paycheck, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. for the paycheck. Now, the moment I started to realize um, that I had to take on this responsibility on myself was when I, I got to a position in my life when I realized, you know what, if I actually don't do anything, I'm going to be stuck. Um, and the stuck that for me was that I would be a burden to my family. I actually had a member of my family say to me, I can't take care of you. They actually said those words. And it was very hurtful. It penetrated me uh, to the point where it, it, I really resented this person for the longest time. But actually he was doing me a favor because I was forced to take my business on and say, you know what, if I'm going to make this work, I have to 
realize that if I want to have good training, I've got to find good training, which means I have to pay for it. If I want to um, make my business my own and get a result out of it, I have to personally do the work myself and not rely on people. And in all the people that I've actually taught my strategies to, in 100% of the cases, every person has actually done the work themselves. And what I mean by that is, yes, I've given them a bit of guidance, but that's all I've done. I've never had somebody hassle me all the time. And in fact, the biggest earners on my team are people that have actually taken on responsibility and said, you know what, this is my business. If you're in this industry because you think, you know, Declan or Sonia or anybody else is going to give you the answers, then you might as well not be here. The fact is that you have to take respons responsibility for yourself. And it's actually, I can't stress this enough, everything you need is inside of the business. Everything you need. And what I mean by that, all right, so you get started with the business. Um, we've got a whole sequence of follow-up. There's a there's a follow-up sequence that you follow. We've got a set of fast start training videos that you need to go through. There's compliance training. There's um, uh, events that uh, you you can attend if you want to. And we've actually laid everything out for you. And people that do not succeed in business don't go through any of the stuff that we tell them to do. It's the funniest thing. <laughs> it really is. It's it's quite extraordinary how somebody will call me up for, and say, this isn't working for me. And I ask the questions, what have you actually done? And they might say something, well, I watched the intro video, but I haven't done so much. I just want to get this going. And I keep telling people the same thing. You've got to follow through with the training. All right? And you've got to understand that you are the person that's responsible. So if you don't understand something... Google is your friend, all right? It's 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 the biggest friend you'll ever have when starting a business. If you don't know how to do something, go ahead and do it. Now, I remember a few years ago, I used to help out somebody, and this is before I actually um, I started to get a lot of results, and I didn't know better. This person had a tremendous amount of trouble working his computer, so he wasn't very techy savvy. And uh, he would have trouble, so I just thought I'll give him a hand. So I logged in his computer. Being a technician myself, I'd log in his computer, and I would set everything up for him. And I would actually help him make videos, for instance, and I would show him how to do it. And I said, don't worry, I'll take care of it. And for the longest time, it must have been about two, three months, I did this for him. But he still never got around to it. And then I lost touch. I lost touch. I never spoke to him about a year after that. And a year later, I bumped into him again. And I said, hey, man, what are you doing? And he says, well, I'm, I'm part of a different company now, but we've basically got this assignment to do. And I said, okay, what is it? He says, we're going to make videos. And I said, how's it going? And he says, well, I can't seem, it doesn't seem to work very well. And I said, um, well, what have you been, or what are you doing? He says, well, do you think you could show me again? And a year later, this guy hasn't figured out how to do that, which which kind of just supports what I'm trying to say, that if you, I mean, he didn't do anything, all right? So I, I said to him, you know what? I, I can't do this anymore. Go ahead and learn how to use a computer. <laughs> Go on a course. That's, I know how to use a computer. You obviously don't, and, and this is the thing. People need to start understanding that they are 100% responsible for their business. Mm. You know, if your car is not working, all right? And you're not a mechanic, what do you do? You take it to a mechanic, all right? So or if you can't afford a mechanic, you, what do you do? You ask your friends, your friends, your friends. You find out ways that you can actually get the knowledge so that you can fix it yourself. And at the end of the day, you have to pay money to get that done. And it's no different with having an online business. If you don't know how to do something, people are not going to help you for free, all right? That's just the way things go. Do you think that your employer, your employer does everything for free? No. He pays a tremendous amount of money to get you trained. And you just think it's for free, but he has to pay the money. And so when your business starts off, you have to start saying, you know what, I am responsible for this. I have to start making a huge change. And that's what happened to me. And people ask me, yeah, but 
it just it's so easy for you and it's not it took me two years it took me two years to actually work everything out on my own and this is where this is where I could have cut things a lot shorter if I just decided that I was going to go in for the big training if I had gone in and decided you know what I'm actually going to go ahead and pay for the good training I would have got there a lot quicker and me seeing um, from this perspective where I am now I wish I had gone in sooner I wish I had gone all in sooner but I did it I waited and I waited and I waited and even when I could afford it I didn't do it anyway because I just didn't see the value so I just struggled and worked out everything on my own so that's what I would say and that's why um, that's that's why wow, that's actually a, a a valuable lesson, you know, for, uh, from you, Dave. I mean, um, the, considering the position that you're at um, right now, and then you can actually tell people from from your own experience. Um, the important thing is um, to you know to to just get all in as soon as you're able to, because it's good for your business. Everybody that's joined this is uh, you know has joined it to create their business. And there's one mutual friend of ours, um, Pat Patterson. He came up with a really good um, analogy on one of the Inner Circle audios, um, which, guys, if you haven't got it yet, you've got to get those Inner Circle audios, jam-packed full of value. Um, and he says, if you look at it from the point of view of a, of a hamburger franchise, you're not going to buy a hamburger franchise and one week you're going to sell the fries and then say, you know, once you've got enough money from selling the fries, you're going to go and branch out and, and, and get the Pepsis. Um, and uh, and then once you've got your nice bit of cash flow coming in from the fries and the Pepsis, you think, yeah, 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 I can just about get the burgers now. No. You start off with the burgers, the fries, and the Pepsis, and guess what? You've got a lot of satisfied customers, and you've got a lot more revenue for your business because this isn't just... Um, about training. This is about putting you in a position, as Sonia said at the start of the call, putting yourself as in a position as a leader. That's why we call this uh, Creating Future Leaders Hangouts, because you, once you start your business, you've got to be a light. You've got to be an inspiration. You've got to be the person that people look to when they, when they join your team. You're their sponsor. You're responsible for them to get in position to get the training that they need. And for you to have that um, authority, to have that position where people are going to look up to you, then you need to be as high up the, 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 the food chain uh, as you can. It's good for your business. Everything along the way is you've got to be thinking with the businessman's mentality, just like Dave was saying. Stop with the employee mentality where you do a certain amount of work and you get paid for it. If you're in business for yourself, then um, you have to put yourself into that mentality. And when somebody joins you, um, if they can see that you're only up to uh, level one or, or, or level two, what do you think impression they're going to be going to have? They're going to think, well, I don't need to be any higher than my sponsor is, you know, clearly. And what does that mean for you? It means lost out opportunities for any extra revenue faster. And we're all about getting you to your goal as fast as possible. If you choose to slow down your progress by um, doing it piecemeal, take a lesson from Dave, as he's just been, been saying there. Um, even when he could afford it, he still didn't do it just because he, he didn't see the, the importance of the, of the value of it. So even somebody at the top of the leaderboards can still see things um, in, you know, in a bit of a, a fuzzy light. Learn from that um, and uh, you know, just whenever you can, um, take that step forward. I will, I yeah. will say this. Um, I will say this, Declan. Uh, you know, you mentioned earlier about my training that I that I that I've got and I give to people. There was a stage that I was giving that training away for absolute nothing. I was I wasn't even it was for free. I just gave it away. But what's interesting about that is nobody really saw the value in it, and hardly anybody went through that training. And you and Sonia being all in, I taught that strategy to, and it it does work. There's no question about it. It Absolutely. does work. Yeah. So um, when people uh, when people are watching this right now saying, oh, you know, I'd be completely different," I don't believe them, purely because <laughs> because it because when you have to pay when you get put it this way, if you decided right now to get all in, and you said, you know what, I'm committed, I'm going to be all in. I can tell you this right now: the the strategy that um, 
Declan and Sonia are using, they will teach it to you, all right? And you will see that it does work if you follow the strategies and actually um, follow through with it. And as we say all the time, you know, we can't guarantee you an income. I mean, uh, we can't do that. guarantee. We what? can guarantee this one thing. What? If you don't implement the training, you're guaranteed to fail. Yeah, that's, that's true. Guarantee. You know what's interesting? What's interesting is that colleges don't have a disclaimer. Yes. Yeah. You go to college, it really yeah. is. They, they don't. They don't say uh, we guarantee you a job because they don't come to lectures. If you don't attend the lectures, you. <laughs> yeah, they can't. So I mean, why would it be any different here? We can't. I don't know what you're like as a person, but I do know this. I do know that if you wouldn't put to put the investment in something and pay a lots of money into it, that shows myself, that shows Declan, that shows Sonia, that you are serious. Now, the training that they have in Empower Network is a hundred times better than the training that I've got. But the little strategy that I use works, and I've built my entire business on it. So if you decide to go all in right now, okay, and you, you do that, and you make the commitment to do that, I know that Declan and Sonia will teach that strategy to you, and you can you can see results, all right, if you put in the actual strategies, all right? And results meaning, you know, you'll get opt-ins, um, and as a resulting in opt-ins, slowly and slowly you'll start to see sales, but it will actually work for you. And in 100% of the cases, my particular training that people have actually gone through, they have seen results, all right? Results meaning that they've got some sort of result in their business. As I said, I cannot guarantee you anything because we've got to, we've got to make that clear and the yeah. law provides us to do that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. so that's something as a little bit of incentive. If you're watching this right now and you say, you know what, I am dead serious about this. I am going to go all in. I know that Declan and Sonia are going to be with you and, and help you and coach you and teach you the right way so you can actually get started properly. And the good but thing is, guys, that... Um, you know, paid strategies are great, but, you know, there's all kinds of ways of coming unstuck with paid strategies. Um, a good provider of, of, of traffic can produce a duff um, a, a batch of leads. Um, a, you know, a, there's so many things that can happen. Paid, paid strategies do get you to your destination faster, but I think um, consistently relying on um, paid strategies is not but you know but to it to its own itself is is a, is not a, a winning bet all of these strategies that Dave's talking about and that Sonny and myself are talking about are all 100% free um, the only yeah. ingredient that you need is consistency um, and you will get the results it's as simple as that absolutely everybody that we've seen that applies this and does it consistently without excuses and without um, this, that, the other, and whatever. Everybody has succeeded with this. So um, I thought I'd. Uh, I, can you hear me, Deck? Yeah. Yes, yes. I thought maybe I thought it might be useful to kind of share my experience of yeah. sort of getting started with uh, Dave's strategy, and it was. I think it's the end of last year, beginning of this year, uh, Declan and I, I think we invested in a training program, didn't we? Uh, and it was going to be video marketing. Yeah. And there was a whole range of videos. And I went through all the videos and started to implement that strategy. And that was uh, creating uh, videos and uploading them to YouTube and using keywords. Now, as I started doing it, I wasn't getting any results, and I got quite despondent. And it was around that time that uh, Declan discovered... Uh, I don't know how you discovered Dave, really, Declan. Well, because I was, I was looking around for... I was constantly looking around for, for, for ways that worked. Um, I was doing a fair amount of video marketing anyway, um, and I was getting I was getting some results with it, um, but then um, we came across um, a, a, an Irish guy that was he just the, the the reason he stood out to me was because he was just so ordinary. 
Um, he was Mr. Mr. Ordinary, uh, and he was doing these videos from his bedroom, and um, and he was posting results. And so I just thought, okay, hold the phone here. You know, <laughs> you couldn't possibly have anybody who's less slick, less presented, and um, you know, more down to earth. Uh, than than this guy, and so um, I remember telling him, t telling you about him, and I just thought I'm gonna I'm gonna contact this guy and see what his game is, see what he's all about, and um, uh, he was a he was a guy in Dublin, and he was just so straightforward, and he just uh, he list this is all I'm doing, um, and um, you know without going going into it, this is all I'm doing, and uh, it's as simple as that. And I was taught this method um, by this this um, uh, crazy grey bearded South African guy, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, so um, you know, uh, it it seemed like a, a a really good thing to do, and um, you know, aside from a couple of other strategies that we use, we we implement, implemented it, and you know, we've guys we've we've both been on the leaderboard since then. Just to just to, to to add really because you know linking in with getting started, I mean obviously Dave's talked about his training, and he he gave us the, the link to his training. We went through the videos, Dave, and kind of implemented step by step. And you did say to us that look, you've got to give it some time. You know, you've got to give it. At least you know, like 90 days, and there's this magic number 90 days to start, but you will see results. And I remember sort of doing my videos, and probably about a month, month in, I wasn't seeing any results. Now, one of the things that I didn't do, <laughs> which is what Dave taught us, was about getting in front of the camera and doing the reviews. And because I was a bit shy. I decided I'd use a PowerPoint, just just have the sort of the, a, an image and talk, so you didn't actually see my face. So he'd he'd given me instructions as to what I should be doing. I decided, you know, well, I, I I'm too shy to do it that way. I'm going to do it my way, but it obviously wasn't working. And he and Dave said to me, look, you know, get in front of the camera. You know, don't worry about anything. Just get in front of the camera, and it will happen. And also, after that discussion, what I realised was that actually I wasn't, I wasn't putting videos out consistently every single day. As he said, you've got to get them out every single day, and I wasn't doing that. So I recommitted, got in front of the camera, started getting the videos out every single day. And I was looking at my results today. I've done a sort of a, a graph, and in the month in May, for the whole month, I've got six leads. For the month of June, I had 230 leads, and I, I did a bit of a calculation, and that's I think that's approximately 4,000 percent increase in the amount of leads. That I got, and I just wanted to share that really because it's what we're saying to you about when you get started in any business, and it's not just this this business, any business, you're usually given some kind of blueprint, some kind of step by step process, and it's so important for you to follow what your mentor or sponsor says, especially if they're using it and they're saying this is working for me. And they, they hand it, I mean, Dave handed it to us on a plate. I mean, handed it, to, you know, we didn't have to pay for it. We're benefiting because getting leads, getting sales, getting on the leaderboard. And when you get on the leaderboard, I mean, that makes so much difference to your credibility. And, and I've just, your confidence as well, just everything changes. You know, so I mean, thank you, Dave, because you did hand it to us on a plate. You know, and I know that both um, Declan and I, we saw so much value in that. You know, that we wanted to. You know, we didn't want to take it for granted. We didn't want to just pick it up and throw it away. You know, this is something that you know that this person's. You know, is 
because we're, we're competition, aren't we? Yep. You know, we work together, but we're still individual businesses, and we're each other's competitors, aren't we, really? Mm. You know? about. And so that just shows, isn't it, that people just want to support you and this, this guy, don't know him from Adam, <laughs> you know, yeah, is, yeah. you know, just, just fantastic. And that's, that's you know, that, that's one of the things I love, really, about the community that we're in, you know, that there are people out there that genuinely want to see you succeed. It's not about trying to get money out of you. There's no really, and I genuinely anybody anybody that opts in to my list, the first thing I'm thinking is, right, this person wants some help. They're obviously looking for a solution. I want to show them that this is a solution that I found. I'm sure it will help you, but obviously they've got to be willing to take the steps. That's me now. Absolutely, um, you know. Uh, if, should I should I talk about um, um, somebody might be watching this saying yes, but I really can't afford to go all in. Yeah, yeah. I know oh, that. I just, I just heard a I just heard a really great inner circle on that just just this evening, Dave. You go ahead, take that away. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm actually one of the few that can actually say when I started, I really couldn't afford to go all in because. Uh, being a South African, if I if I had to say, look, you know, one of the products is a thousand dollars, and for me that's about fourteen thousand rand. So you can imagine paying fourteen thousand dollars just for one product. Um, and uh, I still look back on that, and I think, gee, if somebody had just given me the answers, I would have just got there a lot quicker. But the truth is that I had to go through that grind. I had to go through the process of starting out small. You know, if you truly can't afford something, there are so many ways that you can do it. There are plenty of ways that you can do it. And I'm talking about selling stuff. I'm talking about, uh, you know, finding a skill that you're good at and then going on Odesk or Fiverr and getting paid to do it, finding out ways. And the thing is, if people see that you're serious in the business, they actually see that you actually do want to go ahead because I really didn't stumble across any, any sort of profit until eight months into the business. And the reason I actually got I got to the point of making a profit was because I saw systems and I started to duplicate it. All right? I wasn't trying to reinvent the wheel. I saw results and I started to actually say, you know what, if I just duplicate that result in my business, I can actually get somewhere. And when you actually go through that process of, of um, starting out by doing everything you possibly can to get as far as you can into the business. And remember, those big products are just one-time fees. You don't have to pay them every month. You know, we've got the uh, we've got the top producer formula, which is 500 bucks, and we've got the team building formula, which is $1,000, uh, and then we have the mass influence, which is 3500 You know, when, when your mentors like Sonia and Declan actually see that you are serious, that you really are trying to pull your weight, that is when we can actually see that you are all in mentally. You know? Isn't it yeah. just about being all in financially? Yeah. yeah. I That's committed right. myself to working. Um, in fact, somebody, when I first started, uh, one of my friends said, how long before are you going to quit? And I said, until I die. And I meant it. So what's the outcome? Death is the outcome. That's when I get out. All right? And if you have that attitude and you start working at your business, you will see results, no questions. You go, I'll give you a hint. Follow leaders. Follow Sonia. Follow Declan. See what they're doing. Start duplicating their results. And that as far as I can tell you, all right? Because, I mean, that's the biggest thing I can tell you is just to duplicate what you see out there. You know, we have a really good system uh, that's inside of Empower Network, which is to actually blog every day and you can do that. You can start blogging every day by going through the 21-day blogging challenge. And you can actually start learning and going through all of that training, and you will see results. You'll start to develop a reputation. But if you want to get quick results um, with the strategy that I use, um, you've got to be all in, all right? You have to, because then we know you're serious. Because I don't know how many people tell us, 
How many people tell you that they are serious and they'll do whatever they can, and then when it's they're serious, uh, yeah, it's all oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you've got to show people you're serious, not just by what you say, because we don't know you from Adam. We honestly don't. So um, yeah, so don't. There's no excuse. I don't care where you live. If you if you don't show everybody that you want this business bad enough, um, we can't work with you. It's just yeah. that simple. Uh, you see, guys, but, but, but you know, for, for, for all of us, um, there's a finite amount of time, and um, um, either either Sonia and myself, um, and uh, certainly Dave, um, with the, the amount of people in our teams, that we have to apportion our time accordingly. Now, um, if we see that you know you're actually um, even just taking the most basic of actions, like you know, getting started properly um, and doing the things that you're instructed to do, uh, bearing in mind that um, you know you're here to learn how to make a business. If you didn't want to learn that, you wouldn't have signed up. You wouldn't be part of this business. So we're assuming that you're in a position of learning and that you can accept coaching. Now, if you're failing to even take action on the first steps. We're going to give our time to those that are actually showing those steps. Uh, it's logical because um, it's not right to be stealing time from those that um, have got the, the get up and go and those that are putting action behind their words. Now, Dave mentioned it's not just a question of being all in financially. You'll hear the word all in you know, quite a lot as you go through the, the, the videos. Um, but the most important thing uh, is, as is, is, uh, Holly covered in, in video two of the level up sequence, being in all in mentally. That means you're engaged to your business, you're committed yeah. to your business. Um, now, there's a, a, a fantastic speaker that I listen to regularly called Les Brown, and um, uh, he gets asked quite often, um, you know, well, you know, I've been doing this for three months now, I've been doing this for five months now, you know, how much longer? And you know his all-in attitude is: you keep doing it until, you keep doing it until, you keep doing it until, 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 and uh, and that's the mentality that you have to have. Now, one thing is almost 100% guaranteed. We can't guarantee it because of legal reasons, but if you take these actions and if you follow the instructions, you follow the results, you will succeed you will see results. It's a mathematical, um, uh, or near, near po uh, probability, <laughs> I was going to say probability, <laughs> possibility is wrong as well. I don't know what word I'm looking for. It's a mathematical, ah, certainty. <laughs> certainty. I mean, you know, you know, you know Dex, just, <laughs> just listening to you, I think, I mean, one of the things is that sometimes people will uh, look and see people getting results and think, well, yeah, they, they, they probably had uh, a, a better start or they had more money or maybe they had a big list to begin with, etc., etc. And you can sort of look on and sort of think, with, well, for some, somehow these people are superhuman or whatever. But, I mean, <laughs> what, I, what I can say about, I, I def, what I definitely know about the three of us anyway, is that we are ordinary people, but we, are, we take extraordinary action. And you know, Declan and I, we're what we call accountability partners. We teamed up at the beginning of the year uh, because we, we understood that when you're doing a business like this, when you're on your own, it's, it's sometimes it can be quite difficult to keep yourself motivated. And we've been working together quite closely now for several months. And what I know about Declan is that he works really hard. Yeah, and and you know, for me, I was looking for somebody that works really hard because I know I'm very self motivated, very driven, and I had made a decision that I'm going to do what it takes. And when I say do what it takes, that that's what it means. And I guess for, I think for some people that are looking, and I know that some of you li watching, listening, you're already on our team and some of you are on our list and we've invited you to, to hang out with us and, and listen, is that you can't, you, can't ex you can't come in and think you can just sit back and, as Dave was saying, that people do stuff for you. 
That's not going to happen. And can I just really get there for very, very quickly, Sonia? I'm just, just, it just, it just makes me think of the countless of videos that that, that we've reviewed, uh, and these videos promise you that you can sit back and do nothing and make money. Now, guys, we're presuming, and it's a big presumption here. We're presuming that you're on our, either of our lists, so you click to see uh, um, investigate our business because you know that doesn't work because you know that there's no business where you can sit back and do nothing. And, you know, just what Sonny was saying there just made me think, well, hang on a minute. <laughs> you know, you know that, so don't expect it in this business. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and obviously some of the people that are on our list that have come through since watching those those videos. Yeah. And, you know, we clear, I know that I clearly say, and you clearly say that, you know, it's about learning how to 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 make generate an income online legitimately the right way and that's what we want to do that's what we want to to show you and that's the system is here and as dave said everything everything is in there and you know wherever you're starting from you know so the first thing what's the first thing the first thing is that you got to you got to generate leads and you're taught so from the very beginning with the top producer formula you're taught what you've got to do to, to get your business started in terms of you know getting leads you know capture pages all, all these things but you're told exactly what you need to do and then when you get to that point where you're generating leads and then sales then it's that there's you sort of okay so for me it's like, okay I'm generating leads well how do I convert them to sales you know what the training is in there as well so you watch the training so you start generating sales, you start building a team. The next step is, okay, I'm getting sales. How do I actually build a team? You know what? The training is there for you as well. So everything is there before. Because before I got started, I was all over the place. YouTube videos, Googling this to try and find out what I need to do. It's like this jigsaw puzzle, you know, and grabbing things all over the place. Now I'm sort of I'm doing something. I have a challenge and I think, oh, and I go into um, the back office. There's one of the training products because obviously I've got all of them. I, I know that I can go to one of the training products so I can go into Inner Circle and guaranteed I will get the answer that I'm looking for. Yeah. You know, um, while we're talking here just on that with the strategy that I use, just to give you an illustration, because I put in the work, because I put in all those months of working that strategy, uh, I, I've recently been away at an event, uh, so I haven't really had time to do a lot of work. So I haven't worked for about eight, nine days, and um, I just got a sale talking to you guys right now on this hangout. Um, it's, I mean, that's how effective it is because actually what they teach you in the top producer formula is, which is kind of a weird concept, that when you get to a certain stage, if you're putting more work in to your business, um, while getting results, you're doing something wrong. You've actually got to get to the point where you're putting less work in. That's right. And That's that right. is getting the results. And it seems so That's opposite. Right. And yeah. uh, quite literally, when I was at the event, I made $600 uh, just sitting inside of the event. And here's the other thing I want to tell you. You know, talking about being all in mentally, there were a couple of people that went to this event and uh, they weren't all in financially. But because they took the time to actually get to that event, it showed me that they were, in fact, serious about their business. And, in fact, next week, Tuesday, I think, I'm giving a live training on this particular course. And that person that I could see was all in mentally is going to be in that training because I can see that they are serious. So, you know, if you want to get hold of that training um, and you are serious about it, um, you know, Declan and Sonia will tell me about you, and I will give you a link to that to that training where I will teach you the strategy I use, and you can go ahead and implement it because we're going to have it's going it's going to be a small group of people where you can ask as many questions as you want, and I'm going to be going through the training that I use specifically that will get you results while you sleep. Guys, you don't get much of a better bonus than that. No. Um, seriously, you know, and. Uh, you're in a, a very pri privileged position to be on on this call just just tonight. Um, we didn't know Dave was going to be offering that as a bonus, but considering that that is you know worth its weight in gold, 
Um, so you know, if you if you are serious about this, which we presume you are, um, because uh, I'm, I'm guessing you've probably been looking around for various other different kinds of businesses and stuff like that, and you're tired of um, the endless promises and the the, the, the short on deliveries that, that that are out there. So take that take that promise very seriously, guys, and uh, you know, do do whatever it takes to be on that hangout on Tuesday. Yeah, if you can get all in and you sh you show. Uh... Declan and, and Sonia that you all learn in, in fact, um, they'll give you that link to that Hangout, and uh, I will teach you that strategy, which will get you results. I'm telling you now. So, uh, you, yeah. So that's what I can offer as a bonus for you guys if you want, if you want Brilliant. that. Well, I think on, as, uh, you know, as uh, one of our famous countrymen says, and on that bombshell... Um, <laughs> Um, no, I think, I think we're, we're we're close close to the top of the hour. Do you have anything else you want to add, to add Sonia? Yeah, it's just just as we're wrapping up, uh, the next ninety days, guys. Uh, Orlando. The key. Yeah. <laughs> now, how okay, could okay. I, I have my ticket for yeah. Orlando. I am, <laughs> look, I am so, so I booked the hotel as well. Yeah. So so excited because uh, I've not been able to attend. The big event, these big events that happen quarterly, um, since I started because of my ill health, and but I was I was on the live streaming of the Vegas event last weekend, and it's like I just so wanted to be there, <laughs> and right. I could just I, I just felt like I was missing out, and you could tell that just so much was happening. There's yeah. so much so much is going to be happening in the next. Um, few months, the next 90 days, I mean just Empower is just going to be, it's just going to be blasting and everything's being set up now and I just know that we're kind of, we're on this wave aren't we, we're just, this wave is going to be just and we're just kind of positioned in the right place, you know, and obviously if you're joining our teams now, this is like, you know, we, they talk about the right time and the right place, look, it's the right time, it's the right place. <laughs> If you're looking for any of those signs, you know, just that this is the moment to start, this oh, time, guys. Gosh, um, honestly. You'll know to, if you've been so, through any, uh, the, you know, those of you that have been through the training already, you'll know that uh, attending the events is one of the eight core oh. commitments. Now, they don't just say that so they can flog you a whole load of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. For those of you that haven't been to any of the events, um, it's important that you know that Empower Network events are different from any other company events. There's no selling that goes on in those days. It's three days uh, of, of absolute solid training. Well, two days if you're in. If, if you go VIP, then it's it's three solid days. Um, but there's no. I've I've attended so many company events, guys, and uh, nearly always there's a plethora of speakers. I'm sure you can relate. There's a plethora of speakers on stage. They've all been paid to, to, to be there, and they're all um, plugging their own products, and they're all getting you to some to buy, and saying, you know, uh, you're just super privileged that you know you're here, and uh, you know my product has only just come out, and all this kind of guff. Um, guys, you know, an Empower Network event. Um, yeah, you know, I've I've been to two of them. They've been just absolutely mind blowing. Not in terms of not just in terms of the um, the value which is shared, uh, but in terms of the people that that you meet there as well. Um, there's no event that I've been to where you can actually get um, shoulder to shoulder and just talk one to one uh, uh, with the millionaires and the speakers that are actually delivering the lessons. Mm. Uh, you try doing that in any of these other events where there are paid speakers there. First of all, um, they probably um, stayed stay the heck you know backstage the whole time. And as soon as they finish speaking, most of the time they're gone. Uh, so you go and you, you pay out this hefty hefty fee, and um, uh, and that's it. An Empower Network event, guys, is truly transforming. You get to speak with um, all of these people, and um, it's not a core commitment just for nothing. Um, it's a core commitment because I know that it really changed me. Um, in in the pecking order here, it actually goes um, um, two events: Dave one event and Sonia zero events. But that's all going to change in 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 Orlando. Yeah. Um, and uh, if you make a commitment, guys, to be there, make a commitment that you'll do whatever it takes. I promise you, you'll be thanking yourself uh, for doing it. Yeah. Um, because you know, um, 
there's not much more I can really add to that. Um, uh, this is my this is my sincere face. <laughs> yeah, um, do whatever you can, guys. Honestly, if you're watching this recording, um, know that we do care about you. We want you to succeed. But we also know that we've been burnt a hundred times and people say that they want to be committed, but they're not. Uh, you need to show us that you are committed. And that is, it's just the way it is, all right? There's no way around it. Um, anybody will tell you that they've succeeded something great. They've had to make tremendous sacrifices to get there. Mm -hmm. All right, so, you know, if, if you have perhaps, I don't know, a child that's sick and you need to get them to a hospital that's in... I don't know, two states over or a you'll different country. It takes. Yeah. You'll do whatever it takes to make that happen. And in many cases, when people often help in those situations, it's because that person has done absolutely everything they can and they are just all in mentally wanting to get their child better. And then because of their asking around and showing how committed they are, then that's when people start to say, you know what, I really want to help you. We had a lady that went to an event. Um, and she did everything she possibly could to get there, but when she got there, she had no place to live. And 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 and, and Chris Jones, uh, one of the leaders uh, in IPAS, or the leader in IPAS, offered her a place to stay, gave her a place to stay for the night. So, you know, that's the type of industry you're in. I mean, there was a guy, uh, he knows my situation. I still struggle with a lot of things, and uh, I couldn't really afford to go to that event. I had to sort out a loan for myself to get there. People thought I was crazy, but I finally got there. And as a result of, of the strategy that, I was, that I'm teaching, somebody was so grateful to what I had done. He gave me a laptop. <laughs> gave me a laptop. And I'd re I, and I, 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 yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't thank him enough. It was incredible. That's the type of, of people that you're involved with when you get into this type of industry. So, yeah, get, get there, get in, get all in, and make that decision to commit to it for life. Because uh, what you're doing by 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 getting in uh, uh, mentally and and financially, uh, it just means you know faster returns on your business, really, guys. Um, sure. But um, yeah, there's so much around the, the, the you know the mindset issue, like the difference between the person that re that looks at, the, at buying the products as a cost versus those that look at buying the products as an investment in their business. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you're going to, if you're setting up an ordinary bricks and mortar business offline, and you're going to your bank to, for you know, for a loan, uh, whatever, you know, five thousand, ten thousand, fifteen thousand, whatever, whatever it is, is you need, you're not going to go, you know, with the 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 mentality that that uh, that's a cost. Uh, you're going to go with the mentality that uh, um, it's an investment in your business because you wouldn't be going into it if you didn't expect to be um, making a profit uh, further on down the line. And you have to treat that same attitude with uh, with this business as well. Um, and uh, you know, that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. We try and keep these things just just to an hour, and uh, I think we've been pretty much been going for a, a, about an hour now. Um, apologies for the for the you know the delayed start and that kind of thing. Um, but um, I also want to give a shout out to Dion who's watching. He's from South Africa. Sonia, he signed up under you? Yes. Um, yeah, so Dion, how's it, man? How's it, bud? How are you doing? Just hope things are going cool. Uh, listen to this stuff because it's excellent. And listen to what Sonia teaches you because she knows what she's talking about, all right? Do whatever you can uh, to show Sonia that you are absolutely serious about this business, all right? Um, I know you live in South Africa. I know you've got the same hardships that I do, and I've been through it, man. I know exactly what you, what you're struggling with. I know that it can be done. I've done it. If I can do it, you can do it. All you need to do is you need to just, just put all your powers in and just make this thing happen. And it is completely possible to do it. All right. So, uh, with that being said, I I, I hope that uh, uh, this has helped you. And I'm just going to give a, a little shout out to the uh, um, the most feisty of of, of pensioners that uh, that's that's on the team, uh, and that's Irma from Canada. 
Um, now this this is a real uh, um, a real fighter, and real go getter. Uh, she's been involved in various different uh, uh, teams. She's she's lost um, quite an amount of money through people selling her false dreams and false uh, information, and uh, and she just dusted herself off. And she decided that's it. I'm going to do what it takes. Um, I'm just going to focus on what needs to be done. Um, and uh, you know, she talk about getting started right. She's uh, you know uh, been progressively going through the videos, and uh, so you know. And this is somebody who is you know um, of a pension age, guys. So if you know somebody like Irma can do it, you can certainly do it as well. Um, many of you are far fitter and enabled body. Um, that's not to disrespect any of you, you that are doing it on the, on the team already, of which we have, uh, you know, quite a few. But um, last words over to you, Sonia. Do you want to sign off? Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for. I hope you got some value from this. And it is about getting started right from where you are. And Dave has just said, you know, if you're serious. You know, put your mind to it and and get started. We, we've all been at a place where we've we've struggled, and and we've got through, and we are where we are now. Um, we always have to say about income disclaimers because you know results aren't typical. However, if you're willing to put the the time and effort in, you will get results. And we are going to be back here again next Sunday, yep. won't we? So, so um, same yeah, back so time, same back channel. Yeah, so yes, please. Okay. And guys, don't forget that um, amazing bonus that uh, you know, if if you get all in, you'll get access to that solid gold training. Um, and uh, you know, um, we'll 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 all see you. Well, Dave won't, but um, we'll see you. <laughs> Sonia and myself will see you as usual next Sunday. So I hope you had a good. Bye-bye, guys. Cheers.